hello everyone in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a step progress bar in CSS as you can see I've searched for a couple of examples over here um, you usually use it for a consecutive uh, steps of a procedure that you wanna uh, carry on for let's say sign-ups or adding stuff to baskets uh, in which one step is uh, uh, dependent on uh, on the previous step to be completed. Uh, all right, so let's get started. Uh, I actually encourage you to subscribe to this uh, channel to get uh, uh, better videos uh, and uh, more videos later on in the future. Would be very appreciated. It would take like a uh, half a second uh, to click uh, maybe on <laughs> this video. Anyways, uh, all right, let's get started. As you can see, I have created a uh, unordered list, uh, added a class progress bar for it, and uh, added three elements, setting the first one to be active. Uh, in order to style this, we need to first get rid of these guys. So we go for progress bar li, and then we do list style type to none. As you can see, they are now gone. We need to make them vertical and also uh, equally spaced. We know that the, our parent element has a width of 100% and we have three elements here. We say width 33.33% and this value is really dependent on how many elements you have here. Uh, Alright, looks very good. Uh, let's set the position to relative and now we need to add these guys on top of them we can go for any kind of shape uh, I will go for a circle in order to do that we go progress bar uh, li before um, content let's set a placeholder for now as one we're gonna change this so that every consecutive step has its own correct number here so I'm gonna give it a width of 20 pixel and height of 20 pixel and then maybe a border uh, of 1 pixel um, and then with a the shade of gray uh, uh, let's see how it looks looks quite alright. In order to move this guy up and uh, for this width and height to be effective we need to display to change the position of these elements to be um, block. Uh, position block uh, sorry display block display display block and uh, we do align the text to be in center and uh, looks good now we have to center these guys within our li elements and we know that they are 33.32 percent so one third of this element we need to center these in order to center this first let's center this step so we do text align center uh, and also in order for this guy to be centered we go for adding a margin and uh, the margin looks like zero on top then auto then 10 pixel at the bottom so that we want to have 10 pixel margin between these two guys and uh, then auto to the left and it looks quite good so for these numbers to be correct uh, we do like this. We know that the parent container or our UL on ordered list is the progress bar. And what we do is that this, this new uh, uh, feature, uh, let's say in, in CSS, where you can define sort of like a, a counter. Uh, I'm going to set the counter reset to a variable called step, and I'm going to use that variable passing it to a function called counter for our content these guys one 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 and I need to actually define counter increment to be our variable now as you can see we have one two three as I said I want this guy to be circle so I do border 
the radius to be 50%. Um, and the circle looks quite small. I'm gonna put 30, 30. And uh, in order to align these guys vertically, we say um, line height to be 30 pixels as well. So these are centered now. Looks pretty good. We're going to now add the connectors between this. To do that, I'm going to go for progress bar, li, but this time after, we set the content to be nothing, and then we set uh, position to be absolute. In order for this to be effective, we have to define the width to be 100%. And uh, let's give it a height of one pixel, the same uh, as the borders we have, and the background color, the same color as well. Let's see how it looks. Uh, all right, now we have to position these guys. In order to do that, let's define the top. We know that the height of uh, these elements uh, is 30, so the top will be half of it, so that the line they get centered. So, yeah, it looks good. Now we have to move this guy back. Let's say left to be minus 50%. And uh, you can see it kind of overlaps uh, with these circles. To get rid of that overlap, we do background color to be white. And then we need to move this guy back by using Z, Z index to minus 1 looks pretty good okay so we need to get rid of this guy and this guy and we know that this guy is actually the after of our li element to do that we go for progress bar li first child and then after we set the content to none so as you can see we have a pretty good looking uh, step progress bar what we want to do is now define what the active state should look like. So I'm going to make everything green when a state is active or a step is active. As you can see, I have actually applied the active class to step one. Let's style it now. So we have our um, progress bar, li active. I'm going to add a color green so that every text gets to be green. And then the, this border guy should be green as well. So we do progress bar, li, we know that this guy is the before, and then we go border color to be color to be green. Looks pretty good. The problem is that as you can see, all of these get green. So we have to actually say, I want the active one to be green. So one addition thing is that uh, in, in my eyes, the, the connector between the 1 and 2 should also get green. And this is basically my own idea. So let's make this guy green as well. We know that this is the after of the element after the uh, active one. So I'm going to go for progress bar li active. But the li after that, and we know that this guy is the after of the second or the one after the active. So I'm going to go li after, and then I'm going to give back background color to be green. All right, cool. So you can go ahead and add a class active to the second and the third one. You're going to get a, uh, uh, the same effect as you got this one. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as I said in the uh, in the beginning, please subscribe to this video uh, to get more and more cool videos like this. Thank you very much and have a good day and night.